Hey everyone, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, I'm Chris, and we are bringing back to life the B-58 Hustler. This was an iconic Mach 2 bomber from the 60s, used four J-79 engines, had that iconic delta wing. And so we are building a 112th scale replica to compete with at the AMA scale Nats. In this video, we are tackling the landing gear and the landing gear doors. There is so much work to do here and there's not a whole lot of space to get it done in. The landing gear were made by RC Crafters. They utilize a Robart electric retract system. And so you've got the electric motors driving the retracts. And so the nose, it operates on the trapeze just like the full scale to clear the center line pod, which will be on the airplane. And also the mains, they fold and flatten just like the full scale as well. You know, the challenge is gonna be how are we gonna attach and actuate the doors? And so this is going to be a major milestone to complete on this build. Uh, and so I'm really excited to get into it. So with that said, let's go.
All right, so we have the nose doors all built. They are hinged, they are working, and the way that they get pulled closed is by the retract itself. As the strut comes up and retracts, there are strings and springs in here that pull the door closed as the gear comes into the well. There were a couple of things that came up. I had to replace the hinges that I originally used uh, because they weren't gonna be robust enough, so I found a nice small hinge point from Dubro. So that's what I ultimately went with. The other thing is, you know, I've got these door liners in here. Those serve a couple purposes, but mostly they stiffen up the doors. And so the way that this all works is on each side, there is a piece of braided fishing line with a spring attached, which then attaches to the strut. I have these plywood runners in here that basically push the door out in the down position to set the proper angle. And so that also helps to kind of push the door open as the gear retracts. And so when this retracts, the strut pulls the door closed with it and it's got positive spring tension on it in the down and the up or closed position. The other thing is I have the steering servo in here now uh, and it's just the pull-pull system. Uh, what's interesting about that is there's so much movement on the retraction of the nose gear that it creates a ton of slack in the pull pull cables when it's in the up position. So that's something I'm gonna have to keep an eye on. I may end up having to add some springs or something to ensure that there's no way that it can get in the way of the retract and hang it up from coming back down. So now it's time to get on to the mains. I'm really hoping to use a similar type of setup there. At the end of the day, I'm trying to save as much weight as possible. Even small servos, lots of small servos add up to a lot of weight or they can. I'm trying to minimize that as much as possible in the airframe. And so yeah, we'll see how that works out. So let's get onto it.
All right, we have made it. The landing gear are all completely done now. So let's talk about what we did with the mains. I went through multiple iterations on how to get these gear doors to work. The landing gear retraction cycle, there's so much movement that happens. Uh, there are multiple folds that occur as the mains retract. The other challenge is that the landing gear, I, the retracts, I gotta be able to take them out. I ended up deciding to go with individual servos on each door. So to hinge the doors, I actually had to do something relatively external here uh, because of the space that was required, the doors had to be removable to get the retracts out. Uh, and so it's just an 047 wire and that goes through a 1 16th inch brass tube. And so that is glued to the outside of the door, right in the corner of the door itself. And so the, the tube is glued to the door and then there's two pieces on either end that are glued to the wing and that creates the hinge point for the doors. I designed individual servo mounts and 3D printed those. And what they do is they simply just capture the servos in place because they had to be accessible in some way if I ever had to replace them or anything like that. And then to hook up the doors, I used some Park Flyer equipment there, uh, the easy connectors, the ball joints. It's an 047 push rod that's in there. Got it set up on a sequencer on the radio. Now, I did not have reversed servos, so I purchased some servo reversers, uh, and so that way it switches the servos that I need to reverse in there, and I don't take up additional channels to get that done. And so, I am stoked with the result. The only thing left now is put the airplane all together and give you guys a full retraction cycle. Let's check it out. All right, there we have it. We have landing gear in, gear doors are fully functional. This is a huge milestone and I'm super stoked with the result. There were a number of challenges, you know, trying to get the gear doors functioning was the biggest one. So in our next video, we're gonna be installing fans, we're gonna be working on hatches. And so I'm really excited to get onto the next step because with the landing gear done, we are that much closer to paint and then ultimately finishing the model. I am super excited to get onto the next step. But in the meantime, in case you missed our last video, you can see that here. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you at the field.